Hello everyone, and welcome to an extremely exciting episode of Box Breaks with Bruce. Today we are going super premium. We are hitting up a tin of 2017-2018 Upper Deck The Cup Hockey. This is the gold standard for what hockey cards should be, featuring extremely high-end base cards, very nice rookie patch auto parallels, and plenty of other fun surprises within. Um, I've not opened many of these over the years. I've opened three tins of 15, 16 to cup when it was brand new, and other than that, I've never opened a tin of it before. So today we took the gamble, and hopefully it uh, pays off, and we don't end up with uh, dollar bin cards, because that would certainly be less than pleasant. Um, before we get to the cup, however, we also have a single pack of 2019-20 Upper Deck Series 2, just to pass the time a little bit, and of course our Herbe Bobblehead of Judgment. We'll be judging every hit coming out of the cup, and well, as well as our Series 2 pack in case we get something nice. Without further ado, let's get ready for box breaking! Starting off with our single pack. Hopefully we get something neat out of it. If not, it's not a big investment. Good. Matt Martin base. Cody CC base. Braden Point base. William Carlson, base. Adam Henrique, base. Neil Plonk, base. Vincent Trocek, base. And a marquee rookie of Carson Twarinski. Woohoo! <laughs> but not very good, but that's not why we're here. Let's have a little bit of fun. Might get a little bit of handshakiness on this one. Oh, I hit the first swipe. Absolutely beautiful. Cool. This is a many layered product. So we freed up from the cellophane then. We're gonna cut the stickers. Sticker number one, or just one sticker I think is enough. I think I can slide that from there. Good. Slice the one. Okay. So it's free. We have our tin of the cup out now. Good. So once we open that up, Opening up the tin. Okay, once you open up the tin, there's a tinier box within. Fun fact, 90% of the cost actually comes from how many layers of wrapping there are. <laughs> Good, then we open up this guy. Sorry, just the angle I'm sitting makes it tough to do it right in front of the camera. It's not like I'm at an elevated seating position, so do my best, there we go. Then, take the cellophane off. Okay, then we take this off. Then of course, once we take that off, then we have to do that thing where we get the foam out of it somehow, very, very safely. Because otherwise, very nice, see? Perfect, just like that. Cool. Okay. And then, I believe the back part is also a base, yep. Let's see what we got. We're going to put it down as a stack. Yes, I'm touching it with my fingers, so be it. Okay. First up, Austin Matthews base card, numbered 171 of 249. All right, Urbay's verdict. Yeah, we're not excited about the base, but at least Austin Matthews is at least one of the names. Followed by Tyler Sagan base, numbered 11 of 249. Urbay's verdict. Nah, not, not the best rookie to be had. Or sorry, not the best base to be had. D doesn't go for too much, I don't believe. Next up, how do we do it? Okay, I'm assuming this one's a rookie. So numbered out of 249, 45 of 249, rookie patch auto of Jesper Bratt. So white, black, and red swatch, numbered 45 of 249. Urbay's verdict? Nah. Again, a lot better hits to be potentially had in here. Not the best. Okay, next up we have... Scripted Swatches, number 19 out of 35, Henrik Lundquist. Nice card. Um, Lundquist's reign of... Uh, the Nets in New York might be over after this season, so this might be a well, just very well-timed card. 
However, still a nice player. Irvay's verdict? Eh, it's alright. I think uh, at his prime this would have been a great hit. Um, now, not as good, but still I'm happy with it. Alright, next up we have... Rookie... Uh, rookie Auto, I believe, Rainbow Parallel or something, numbered 18 of 36, Nathan Walker. Uh, first Australian player in the NHL. Urbay's verdict. Nah, he didn't really pan out. He spent a little bit of time in the NHL, mostly hovering in the minors. And finally, we have... Uh, printing Plate. Yes, we have Masterpieces Printing Plate. One of one of Brad Marchand. Yeah. This one is the yellow plate. It's, it's a nice, it's nice. Urbe's verdict. Yeah, it's a one of one printing plate. It's pretty cool. Urbe's final verdict on our tin of the cup. Yeah, it's all right. Um, definitely I've seen a lot worse. Definitely I've seen a lot better. We're, we kind of very middling with that. Um, I'd say the Marchand isn't a bad hit and the Lundqvist definitely are all right. Otherwise, yeah. That's all I can say about that. I mean, on the whole, I had a lot of fun opening our Tin of the Cup, regardless of whether or not we ended up with big dollar cards. And I hope you had a little bit of fun watching and uh, waiting with the suspense. Till next time, have yourself an excellent day. Bye-bye.